and I'm with Colin. It's Valentine's Day and we're on the way to the Baltimore Aquarium. Colin took me to my first aquarium trip ever in the Florida Keys, in my Florida Keys vlog and I became so obsessed and he's like, wow, if you're obsessed with this little aquarium and I need to take you to the Baltimore Aquarium. Literally so, I know. He asked me what I wanted for Valentine's Day and I literally said I don't want anything except to go to this aquarium. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Look in your face like you have no idea like what you're in for. Like, it's actually great. It's Valentine's Day and I know you guys saw my Instagram. I was gonna wear like this sparkly needle and thread jacket that I got with a big bow right here, but I saw on H&M they were selling Romeo and Juliet t-shirts. So I got me and Colin matching Romeo and Juliet t-shirts. They were selling Romeo and Juliet t-shirts at H&M. Okay, we're gonna be that couple that walks through an aquarium matching. And tomorrow, oh my God, I'm like freaking out just like thinking about it. I'm walking in a fashion show at New York Fashion Week. It's for, let me tell you what fashion show it's called because it's just like a long name. I'm walking in the fashion industry finest independent designers fashion week showcase. I'm looking at the emails that the designer sent me and I didn't catch on to this, but she said, in January, I sent her over some details on the show and today I finally got approval from the board to allow Gabby to walk in my show since there is a strict 5-8 requirement to walk on the runway. The board took around three weeks to come to a decision and after a lot of insistence on the need to embrace a new direction for fashion where height is not a factor, they voted in my favor. I'm gonna be like the first like five Your foot model. Like I'm literally five feet tall. I don't know how many inches my heels are. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be tall. <laughs> I'm in the finale piece and I'm so nervous. It's like a dress that like you pull a string and like the jacket falls off and a big gown falls out. <laughs> Watch it be something like a disaster. <laughs> like that's a now I get that. That's a raven that's episode. That's a raven and disaster. And then she sent me over an itinerary and on the top where it says like rules and restrictions, it still says models must be 5'8 and up. So I'm like so nervous. Like people might be like angry that I'm so short. And I've never walked in a runway show before and I don't know how to walk. We're on the way to the aquarium and this is going to be an adventurous fancy vlog. Let me tell you. So we made it to the aquarium and look at our shirts. We're that couple. Some girl like was like, oh, are you guys wearing yourselves on your shirts? And we're like, no, it's Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> wow, this is huge. Try it, Colin. It's so soft. Yeah. Their bodies are about 95% water. That's why they feel so slick and smooth. funny. Look at the little legs go. Look at the little legs go. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hello. You like it here? I love it here. Thanks for bringing me. An amazing time guys aquariums are my favorite place to go to they're so peaceful and beautiful and I just love the ocean and it's just so amazing but anyways the nerves are starting to kick in now because tomorrow I'm walking in a fashion show a group of friends are so amazing they're so sweet they're so kind and they're coming to support me tomorrow at the fashion show so when I was in LA I know you guys saw me go into lottery and I never showed what I got I got some Valentine's for my group of girlfriends. So cute, they're little like frosted almonds. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram probably saw me post the conversation of like 
our girl squad and I'm like, is anyone allergic to nuts? And they're like, no, no, no. And then Rachel's like, I love nuts. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're all gonna ride together to the city. Um, they're gonna come see me and I'm gonna give them their Valentines because they're just the best. Couch still hasn't come in yet, so ignore this disgustingness, but look what did come in. I got this blown up of when Colin and I went to Paris last summer and I think we're going again this spring, which is exciting. And I also got this one blown up. As soon as they paint this wall the cream color to match the rest of the walls, they're still in the process of painting the house. I'm gonna hang this and the one behind it, sorry, it's so pretentious. But um, I'm gonna hang these two, oops, these two stills of me along the walls as like you walk up the steps. And as you can see, that room right there is gonna be my walk-in closet and they start construction on the cabinet. They're gonna start that March 1st, I think. It's one project after the next. When you buy a house, it's literally like, it takes forever. It doesn't happen quick, but I'm really excited. Hey guys, so I'm in the princess cave and there's another canvas I need to show you that I got. I went canvas crazy. Look at the picture of me and Bay. Ah, it looks perfect down here. Oh my gosh. And then of course, ignore this, but I accidentally got a second one of these pictures. So I just put it here. So yeah, but I wanna show you what else I got for Valentine's Day. Venus at Fleur uh, sent me an arrangement of roses and I just feel like they go good with my brand new like throne. I just got this chair for those of you who haven't seen this. It's beautiful and so are these flowers. They have like this pearlescent sheen to them and they're cream. They smell so good, it smells amazing down here. And on top of it, I got this Louis. This was sold out everywhere. I don't even understand how I was able to get a hold of it, but I did and I love it so much. Right now I'm setting up a bath for Colin upstairs. It's filling up. I should probably go back upstairs soon. I need to show you guys the bathroom because that was like one of the first projects we tackled and it's still in the works, but it looks so good. Like we renovated the bathroom completely and right now we're just waiting on curtains and a sconce for on top of the mirror. So this is what it looks like so far. I'll insert some pictures. Actually, I'll insert a picture here of what it used to look like. Yeah, it was different. So we replaced the mirror. We were gonna replace this whole thing, but we just painted the bottom of the vanity. I also added this cute little antique shelf. <laughs> All I have is lotion right here, which is Sleepy from Lush. I'm gonna get a sconce to put above this because right now there's just a dangling light. And I got these things from Target, they're really cute. It's a candle, a rose candle. Then I have this rose water and ivy soap. And I got my Pix Beauty soap. And the curtains are coming in for right here. They're really pretty and they ruffle. Right here is just the shower. I was gonna replace this whole thing, but I decided to keep it because as soon as I painted the walls, replaced the mirror, and painted the vanity, the whole bathroom just like came together and looks super cottagey and pretty. Um, and yeah, this is what I have going for Colin. How cute! So, I'm getting ready for bed and Rachel's here, she's sleeping over because she's one of the friends that are coming with us tomorrow to the fashion show and she's riding in the limo slash bus with us tomorrow. I'm taking some notes from Rachel because she's the closest thing to a model friend that I have <laughs> and right now I'm wearing heels and moved my furniture because I'm turning my living room into a catwalk and I'm practicing walking. Yes, there's a big ass still of me. Um, the designer like gave me the song with the seconds to practice walking to, but it's not like a song with a beat. Oh my God, it's like I had balls on my head. <laughs> but um, I, I would play it for you guys, but I'm probably gonna get copyright. So I'm gonna put in a different song um, when I edit this, but this is me practicing. So we made it to New York City. Um, I'm supposed to go like with no hair or makeup done, but we took this bus. It's so cute. It's called like an executive bus or something. My mom's here, Allie's here, Rachel's here, Jesse's here, and then I have a few other friends. Oops, and Colin's here. I have a few other friends meeting us here. But yeah. So 
it's the next day. I felt like it would be easier to just like recap what happened yesterday and how yesterday went down and then like insert the footage as I'm explaining what happened. So, where do I start? Long story short, it was an independent designer's fashion show, so it wasn't just the designer I was modeling for. There was a bunch of other designers, and although I absolutely love my designer and her clothing and all the pieces that she makes, there were other designers that were just so out there. Like, when I say out there, I mean like Marie Antoinette and like a jester and violence. You know what, just insert footage here. with when I first got there. So when I first got there, we got sent to this room where there was like a bunch of chairs and like a bunch of people doing makeup and a bunch of people doing hair. And it was like a madhouse. There was like women screaming. Please, please, I'm not, I can't say it enough. Yeah, I get there and they're, they, they're like, go sit there. And I sat in a hair chair and they did my hair in like a low slick back ponytail. And um, then I went to the makeup chair when I was done and this girl she was literally the sweetest person ever and i don't want to lie in my fancy vlogs because like i'm just not like that but and i literally am so upset like if she said i don't mm, i don't know if i should say this i thought she was a great makeup artist but there was one thing about my makeup that like i just did not like it was my wings insert footage here you don't have face? Um, yes, I'm just gonna Yeah, I thought at first, I thought I was like, okay, this is high fashion. Like, they probably are making everyone look like this. Until I went to the dressing room and the fittings and I saw everyone literally had normal makeup. And then there's me with wings all the way to like my temple slash hairline. I could fly with those things. So I was like, what do I do? I've never modeled before. I don't know like do I like wipe it off? Will I get yelled at? So I just kept them so I already like was not feeling myself and my lipstick was like bright red and like was smearing all over my hands and, You know like the lipsticks you'll buy if you want to do like a vampire look or like a werewolf look Like you know what I mean like the foil so my makeup was looking a little crazy So I didn't take any pictures at all and I figured like when I go on the runway It'll probably look different. It'll probably look better I feel so bad saying this though because she was so nice. So if you're watching this, you're the sweetest person ever. I just didn't care for the wings. Like, it's just my perspective. The face makeup that was used was way too light for my body. I wore really, really, really light makeup. I thought to myself, this is probably like normal as hell. It's a fashion show. Like, people probably have weird makeup, you know? But no one else had that makeup. Whatever, it's makeup, I got over it, I just didn't take any selfies. And then it comes the fashion show and it came my turn. And basically all day when you're modeling, all day is like you're just standing in heels and you're like a mannequin, you have fittings and you basically just have 10 seconds of fun which is like walking the runway. And the rest of the day you're like treated like you're one out of a million in a herd and it's like, kind of dehumanizing so yeah i didn't vlog that much because it was honestly a lot of yelling like the show director was yelling all the time like i feel like the audience heard her screaming backstage don't get me wrong like i feel like it's a really really stressful environment but like i don't know so there's something really dehumanizing about it as a model and so i really feel bad for them and stuff like that but let's get to the show so i ruined the fashion show it started with okay my dress wasn't like anyone else's dress i was in the finale piece and it was basically a short dress with a jacket inside that short dress was like a long dress so i was supposed to unzipper the jacket and the whole dress was supposed to fall out and during rehearsals i only like did it once and it didn't work that one time i think i might have done it a second time and it still didn't work so I, w I knew it just wasn't gonna work during the show and it was a lot of pressure to put on me because I didn't have the dress to practice like undoing and so when i walked out there i was feeling fierce i was walking i was walking and then i get to the end of the runway so yeah the jacket wouldn't come off and it was just so humiliating
And then after the finale, I walked back out with the designer and I almost slipped. I caught myself and then smiled and then walked off. So yeah, I like ruined her fashion show and I feel really, really, really bad. But she says it was cute and she made me feel so much better and she was just so sweet. So thank you, Alex, for having me in your fashion show. It was an experience for sure. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog. Bye.